The Witch Chronicles, A Bag of Beans, written by Desmond Lynch. Ugh, by God, oh cheers la, I needed the drink. Swear to God, what were them boys at? I mean, I've been drinking this sweet tavern now every night for God so many years now. I never saw such a ruckus in my life. Them boys have no respect, talking no tough like they're proper crusaders. <laughs> Tell you what, next time I see a blood guard, I'm a batter. Swear in my life. <laughs> Ooh, God, it's been a while since I got a battering like that. I'll be fine now in the morning, it's just... Well, I'm a bit too old for that type of carry on now, if, if you know what I mean. <laughs> oh, thank you. I know, I, I look pure young, don't I? You know, the trick of it is this. A bag of beans. Look pure ordinary now, don't they? The beans, these beans, are magic. How old am I? Well, you wouldn't believe me. You really wouldn't. I mind when I was a wee boy, I was on the farm one day. I was bored out of my mind. My dad had sold all the sheep for drink money and we were skinned as a blint. I mean, how are you supposed to be a shepherd without sheep? <laughs> He's dead now, mind you, but still. The man and that stupid lived far too long. It was actually impressive. <laughs> anyway, what was I saying? Oh, I, I was walking this one day. I got a wee bit lost. Out in this forest, and I came across this tower. A big stone thing, near ten stories high. Mental thing. And it felt weird being around it. Like there was this whole feeling to it. Kind of like when you look in the eyes of a cow and it winks at you. You know, it do doesn't feel right. You know, I go in. The whole place looks old as a mountain, but there's weren't a spot of dust, weren't a stirring a cobweb, nothing. Damn near the cleanest looking ruin I ever saw. I go walking about and I find all these books and jars and spooky wee stuff. Eyes, flies, all that type of thing. Mental stuff, mind you. And me, being the poor wee boy I was, said to myself, You know what, you can make a good bit of money off this sort of thing. And so I did, I, I took all that there lit. And I sold it to whoever I wanted it. The books were bought by boys who couldn't even read. It just looked nice to have a book in your house back then. It looked properly educated. Them jars of eyes, well, they were hard to sell. Obvious reason, mind you, but I got rid of them all the same. I spent a good many years hopping back and forth between that tower and that village. <laughs> My ma kept asking questions about where I was getting the money from. My dad was too drunk to care. It wasn't right, the whole stealing thing, but the way I reasoned it. Them things were just there for the taking, and nobody there was claiming it. So, how is it stealing, really? I, uh, didn't find out about the tower till a while after. Well, in there, witches came to town, selling their potions and all that stuff. She sees me selling my stuff, and she gets curious, asks me where I got it all. I, gonna go wee boy of some area. Told her to get away before I batter her. No, she didn't like that. Not one bit. She followed me home that night. I, I headed to the tower, and as soon as I was about to walk in, there she is. She asked me what I'm at, stealing from this place. I says, I'm not stealing. You have my whole wee fine logic I just told you about. She looked at me like I was dumb as a stump. She says, do you not know what this place is, boy? See, I didn't know this. There's all these wee magic buildings all along Terramore. Most of them right west and the west, but there's a good few here in Kazi as well. There's been loads of them, and all these wizards lived in them, but I, I don't know why, but a lot of them just started moving away. Heard they all went to the cities or got trapped in the army or were killed. I, I, I don't know, something like that. The tower belonged to this wizard called Meredith, I think it was. Aye. No, he, he went a wee bit mental, he got pure mopey and jumped off the top of the tower. It's well sad, like, but... Aye. She says the tower's cursed. That all these tires are cursed. That's what drove him mental. I read into it over the years. I I, I learned to read too, but that, that's a, another story. whole thing is powered by this arcane energy floating through the air. It's kind of like, um... Actually, you know what? For, for, forget it. You, you wouldn't get it. Trust me, lad. Like, there are... Sure, I see you near falling asleep there now. You, you wouldn't get it. You have no interest. Just, just drop it. 
you know, she, she tells me to stop selling all these things to people, says it swallowed her small school and goes into all this gobbledygook. I, I didn't understand at the time. I was like, see them witches, no harm to them. But they're a well awkward people. You can't have a normal conversation for the life of them. She was right, though. See, magic has a price. And them books I sold, they could very well open a get the hell if you wanted to. But it weren't being used like that. It was all set up for decoration. And that turned out to be a bad thing in the end. See, them books, they emit this energy. It's called Arcana Rot. It's bad, like it's like putting a frog in a wee pot of cold water. And putting that pot onto your fire. We wee frog doesn't even notice it's being boiled alive. Like, people bought that stuff, I sold them. They started getting sick. Babies were being born with deformities and abnormalities and all that type of thing. I heard one wee boy burst into flames. That's what's sad, like, but... As soon as I started hearing all this commotion, I went out, I gathered up all the things I sold. It was bad. So bad, nobody wanted their money back. They were that sick of me. They all ran out of time. It's all sad as all. I don't like being sad. Not one wee bit. I moved on, and I started walking by. The witch told me never to be selling that stuff ever again. Which is fair enough, but now I knew who the right people to sell to were. See, them wizards out there in them cities, they hate leaving their wee towers. Can't stand the country for life in them. So I write to them, I says, here, none of these boys want to come here. None of your wee Aryan boys want to go scurrying about these cursed ruins. But I don't mind. I ain't scared. I'll sell you these wee treasures. For a bit of gold, and I did. I traveled all over the world. I've been all over Kazi. I've been to the Gold Coast, carry on, and well, I've been to the waste as well. But see, before I sell all them books to them wizards, I read them first. Most of it's a load of nonsense. Some, some, I, some are very handy indeed. I've learned how to live longer than I ever should have. I used magic, changed my body, made me as strong and fit. But it took a price, mind you. I look young. Young as I did when I was still using the wee tower. Because of this. See this wee necklace? It's one of the best magic items I ever find. It's all illusion, a trick. Makes me look something I'm not. You take it away. Well, I look well different. I'll leave it at that. Uh, it's well handy, but I, I have to wear a little time and it takes its toll, so it does. I don't sleep anymore. When I think, sometimes it gets hard. It's like a stream of water trying to make its way through a big rock that just won't budge for the life of me. Sometimes, sometimes I forget things, like, I can't mind how old I am exactly. I can't mind my mom's name, what my dad looked like, I can't recall the first girl I ever kissed her, how to set up a dinner table, or how to share a sheep, or anything like that. And I think I had a wife, and a few wins, but I can't remember them. I found that tower near 300 years ago now, and I, I made a wild lot of money, and I've had one hell of a life because of it. But I, I sometimes wonder if I'd have been better off if I just never found that tower. If I took the fever, or if I settled on that farm and lived out the rest of my days, a wee fat wife and a buckload of wains to annoy me. <laughs> it's not things like it's uh. But I, li I lied about that, it's uh, something a lot darker than that. Something you should never go looking for, trust me lad. And I've met some villains in my life. And I wouldn't wish this on the worst of them. Believe me. <clears throat> I, I keep busy enough. I see all my stuff now and then. I Go about and I drink and I live and I dance with the girls and I do a lot more if they're keen. <laughs> and I don't give a hoot. You gotta live, lad. There's, there's no other way about it. Only way out is free. And I'm. I'm not free yet. Not by a long shot. Oh.
God. It's been a little while since I got a battering like that. God, that'll be fine now in the morning. It's just... Well, I'm, a, I'm a bit too old for that type of carry-on. If you know what I mean. <laughs> well, thank you. I, I know. I look pure young, don't I? I look pure young, don't I? You know, it's a trick. It's this. You know what the trick is? It's this. A bag of beans. Look pure ordinary now, don't they? These beans. These beans are magic. <laughs>